Hey guys, it's History Behind the Warrior, and today I'm going to be talking about June Kazama. Now, from what you can obviously tell about her name, she does come from the Kazama clan, and although not much is known about them, they seem to have the very special ability of in fact suppressing the devil gene and the curse it has on a said individual. So, in essence, it is the perfect counter against anyone from the Mishima clan, excluding Heihachi and Jinpachi. Now, June herself is in fact a very sketchy character. Not much is actually known about her officially, and she's one of the very very few rare cases of characters to only appear within one game, canon wise anyway. So not much is essentially known about her, but she does play a massive role in what Jin Kazama does. So she's referenced multiple times throughout the Tekken games from that point onwards. Now from what we do learn about her in Tekken 2 is that June is a very peaceful individual and is in touch with mother nature, even being able to communicate with animals at times, which played into her job extremely well as she was an animal protection officer. Now June was currently tracking down an illegal trafficking program and this would lead to her being drawn to the Mishima Zaibatsu as it seems like they were distributing and trading around endangered animals. Now whilst tracking down their shipment she would come into contact with the spirit of her father and this is where she started to learn that there were supernatural things going on here. You see anytime she was near Kazuya Mishima she would sense this dark and radiating evil coming off him and it was unlike anything that she had felt before. So she would enter the King of the Iron Fist tournament too with the idea of not only arresting Kazuya Mishima, but also kind of exercising this demon he had within him. But things didn't quite turn out this way, as during the tournament, the two had become extremely close. Not much is really disclosed how this actually had happened, but it seems like Jun was very interested in kind of exercising this devil gene within him, but she was obviously unsuccessful. Now before the two had parted ways, the two had conceived a child, and Jun would leave the tournament so she could raise her 2B child, that being Jin Kazama. Whilst Kazuya on the other hand, had further began to lose himself to the devil gene as he battled Heihachi for ownership of the Mishima Zaibatsu. Now there is a rather large time gap between Tekken 2 and Tekken 3, and during this time, Jun would give birth to a child, Jin, and would raise him up in the wilderness, teaching him in the traditional Kazama fighting style. Now during this time, a strange being called Ogre would begin travelling the world and killing numerous fighters, and Jun would sense that this being was going to eventually come for her, so she would tell Jin that if anything were to happen to her, then he must sort out and find his grandfather, Heihachi Mishima, and request that he's taught in their fighting style. Now on Jin's 15th birthday, Ogre would attack their home, completely destroying it. But the battle between Jun and Ogre is something we do not see, and later on when Jin awakens, he's unable to find his mother, despite ramaging through all of the debris left from what was their house. Now after this, Jin would follow his mother's orders. He would reach out to Heihachi and learn their style of fighting, and during this time he would set his eyes on Ogre to kill the malevolent being. Now this in the main canon and continuity is the very last time we see June Kazama. She has in many cases appeared here and there making very small cameo, one being in Tekken 4 where Jin spares the life of Kazuya and Heihachi saying that they should be thankful for June Kazama as June never taught Jin to really kind of grow up with a murderous intent in his heart. She's also referenced in Tekken 5 in the Devil Within story mode which was in fact the main motivation for Jin even appearing in that game as he was searching for his mother. And she's referenced a tiny bit in Tekken 7 where he once again utters the words be thankful for June Kazama. Now June does return later on in Tekken Tag 2 which isn't actually canon within the main story. However it does bring up a lot of interesting things about her and her ties to the character Unknown. Now Unknown is a very sketchy non-canon character and not one I'd really decide to talk about but for the purposes of making this video a bit more interesting let's go in depth here. Unknown originally appeared within the first tag game, in which was a woman possessed by an ancient wolf spirit. And it was widely believed that the identity of the original unknown was in fact June Kazama, but we learned at a later date that this was in fact June Kazama's sister, who is never referenced or even heard of throughout the entirety of the Tekken series. Now in Tekken Tag 2, unknown resurfaces, and we learn here that it seems to be some form of alter ego of June Kazama. But the unknown character itself is completely non-canon, so I'm just letting everyone know here that this isn't a form that June can kind of transformed to at will. If anything, it seems to be a massive influence from the wolf spirit, which also does apparently give the person the devil gene, which is again a very interesting idea. I will most likely make a video on unknown and the controversy that kind of surrounds her in her own video at a later time, but hopefully this gives you guys a rough idea of June's ties to this character. Now despite June's disappearance, she hasn't been confirmed dead. If anything, it seems like the character has gone into hiding. Although the reasons are currently unknown, we can only hope and wait 
week that we learn more in the next game. But until then, we can only really speculate what has happened to her and where she currently is. But yeah, this pretty much wraps up for the June Kazama video, guys. I hope this has cleared up some stuff about her, as I do like June Kazama, but she is extremely sketchy. And it's a shame we haven't seen a lot from her. I know her place on the roster has been filled with Oscar, but I'm pretty sure in Tag 2 they had rather different fighting styles. Of course, do not hold me to that. Now, please do let me know in the comments below who would you like me to talk about next week for Tekken? I was thinking maybe Ogre? If you have a better suggestion, please do let me know. Now, before this video wraps up, guys, if possible, let's try getting it to about 500 likes. It's a great way of supporting this channel as YouTube's algorithm is currently pretty damn crazy. Now, as always, guys, please comment, like, subscribe, and share this video with everyone you know. Please take care, and I'll see you all next time. Let's go.